we're going to solve the equation two plus 6.9 times b equals 29.6. Because 6.9b means 6.9 times b, the value of b that makes two plus 6.9 times b equal to 29.6 will be the solution to the equation. In order to solve the equation for b, we need to isolate b on one side of the equation and because b is on the left side of the equation, our solution will be in the form of b equals some value, again, that makes the left side equal to 29.6. And we'll take a look at two methods for solving this equation. For the first method, we'll leave the equation in its current form and isolate b on the left side. And for the second method, we'll begin by clearing the decimals from the equation and then solving for b. So for the first method, we'll leave this equation as is. And because there are two operations we need to undo on the left side of the equation to solve for b, this is often called a two-step equation. To solve a two-step equation, the first step is to perform addition or subtraction to isolate the variable term, which for this equation means we want to isolate the term 6.9b in the first step. And the second step is to multiply or divide to isolate or solve for the variable. We need to be careful on this equation because we have plus 6.9b, it might be tempting to try to subtract 6.9 on both sides of the equation. But that is not correct because 6.9 is attached to b by multiplication. But we can undo this positive two by subtracting two on both sides of the equation. So our first step is to subtract two on both sides of the equation in order to isolate the variable term 6.9b. Subtracting two undoes the positive two, or two minus two is equal to zero, and therefore the left side is now just 6.9b. On the right side we have 29.6 minus two. We can also write two as 2.0. Move the decimal point down to the difference and subtract. Six minus zero is six, and 29 minus two is 27. Now we have the equation 6.9b, or 6.9 times b equals 27.6. And therefore the second step in order to solve for b is going to be to undo this multiplication by performing the inverse or opposite operation. In order to undo multiplying by 6.9, we will now divide both sides by 6.9. Dividing by 6.9 undoes multiplying by 6.9, and therefore the left side simplifies to b this is also 6.9 divided by 6.9, which equals one, and one times b is b. And therefore, b is equal to this quotient on the right. Let's show this quotient on the side. We have 27.6 divided by 6.9. We want the divisor to be a whole number, not a decimal. So move the decimal point to the right one place, and we can do this as long as we do the same to the dividend. So we'll move the decimal point to the right here as well. Move the decimal point up into the quotient and divide like we normally do. So we need to determine how many 69s there are in 276. That's not an easy question, so what we could do is round 69 to 70 and round 276 to 280. And we can use this to estimate how many 69s there are in 276. Because four times 70 is exactly 280, we'll assume there are four 69s in 276. Now we'll check this by multiplying. Four times nine is 36. Perform an exchange with three. Four times six is 24 plus three, which is 27. We lucked out here because notice how there are exactly four 69s in 276. Four times 69 is 276. This difference is zero, and therefore the quotient is exactly four, which means b equals four is our solution. Let's solve this equation again by first eliminating the decimals from the equation. So starting with the original equation, we would have two plus 6.9b equals 29.6. Because we have at most one decimal place, we can clear the decimals by multiplying both sides of the equation by 10. Ten times two is 20. 
10 times 6.9b is 69b, and 10 times 29.6 is 296. The solution to this equation will be the same as the original equation, but notice how now we don't have decimals in the equation. But the process for solving this equation is going to be the same. The first step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting. So we'll subtract 20 on both sides. Simplifying, 20 minus 20 is zero. So we have 69b equals 296 minus 20 equals 276. Next we need to undo the multiplication to solve for b, so we divide both sides by 69. Dividing by 69 undoes multiplying by 69. So again, the left side simplifies to b, or 69 divided by 69 is one, one times b is b. On the right side we have 276 divided by 69, which is actually the same quotient we used to determine this quotient here after we move the decimal point one place to the right in the divisor and the dividend. So 276 divided by 69 is four, giving us the same solution. The solution is B equals four. Before we go though, let's verify our solution by substituting four for B in the original equation. Performing the substitution, we would have two plus 6.9 times B, which is four, equals 29.6. Let's make sure the left side of the equation is equal to 29.6, and let's use the calculator. I've already done this, notice how two plus 6.9 times four is 29.6. So the left side equals 29.6, which equals the right side, which verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.